deadlifts. Um, then we will go into our calf raises and then uh, we will do drag curls and finish up with curl curls. Four exercises. Right now it takes about 10 minutes. I would like to get that up to 15. Um, but you all start somewhere, don't you? So today, I'm trying to go with lesser bands so I can get more reps in um, and just sort of adjusting, right? that you want to do this and you make it yourself like you you just you sort of figure out what's the best way to put the band you can put them both like this and underneath if you want it shorter uh like for the pull-up like for like the deadlifts and stuff but for this i i can't pull the bands all the way up um to here to actually do cap raises so i need to put it the long way and then put it under my board for stability so I can actually do calf raises because you can't step on it uh, uh, the band at the same time and, and try to do calf raises because it's fairly silly. Ugh. My legs are jello. That's good. Ah! So we're going to try this a couple different ways to find out which works best for me. 
I think this is going to work. Slightly bent over and squeezing the shoulder blades. You want to still keep your back straight, otherwise you'll hurt yourself. And now we'll finish up with curls. Nice and slow. Hey! <laughs> oh. I do. Oh. Woo! So what you find, especially right away is that when you do those bigger muscle groups first, like they're still working when you're doing drag curls and when you're doing curls. And like there, it was a battle between how tired my back was and how tired my arms were. And luckily, they gave out uh, before the back did as far as failure, not as far as pain or damage. Just want to be clear. Uh, otherwise, much love from the old man. We'll see you tomorrow.